now let us discuss what is organization and what are the types of organization and what are the perspectives on organization what is an organization the organization will have a physical entity physical entity means a concrete physical structure will be there and it will have a definite boundary moreover there will have the precise members in any organization there will be precise clear members so organization first one there will be a physical structure second one there will be a boundary and third third one there will be affiliated members not all can participate in an organization because there will be selected and recognized members now let us discuss what are the types of organization balu scott one of the eminent sociologists classified the organization based on the beneficiary who is the ben uh, according to the beneficiary of organization who has the benefit first one mutual benefit in some organizations the all members will have benefit it is called a mutual benefit in some organization some business organizations there will be benefit only for managers by doing that business the managers and owners will have the benefit it is called a business organization and third one service organization in service organization the benefit will be for client and public in conduct the service sector fourth one common wheel in organizations there are some organizations these are called common wheel why because the total population is benefiting from such organizations now let us discuss some of the perspectives regarding the organization first perspective is put forward by amitai etzioni amitai etzioni put forwarded by this type of perspectives according to him an organization will have the division of labor the responsibilities and powers will be divided among the members so it is called a division of labor and there will be a power center to control and monitor that organization moreover if some officials die or some officials may be promoted there would have a system of substitution a substitution of personnel will be also there and second one the weberian perspective weber says that bureaucratic administration is the most efficient organizing the social structure so the hierarchical order or the bureaucratic order using the bureaucratic order we can maintain order in any organization what are the speciality of bureaucratic order there will be hierarchy many hierarchy will be there many strata will be there and the order will be published from the higher authority to the lowest authority and there will be clear documents clear rules and regulations and the order of the high official will be obeyed and respected by the law officials course now let us discuss the third perspectives on organization this perspective is put forward by irving goffman irving goffman conducted a study on some of the organizations some and he found that there are some institutions there are some organizations though they are different in nature they share the common behavior so some different the organization which show common feature suppose a hospital 
or a prison or a boarding school or a monastery where the people are staying there as inmates. They have common problems. They have common issues. Their culture is common. Their behavior is well arranged. So these institutions share the common behavior. So Irving Goffman called this institution the total institution in 1961.